This is a professional boxing bout scheduled for four three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Out of the red corner, Jaden Vigil. Welterweight boxing, 147 pound fighters in the professional division. So another four rounds, three minutes each. Brings us Jaden Vigil making his way to the ring right now. Hey, you know, we were talking about dress and garb. <laughs> you gotta go, he's gotta get a little Laker going. I was just thinking Lakers. You know? But that's some, that's some, that's some good looking gear. I'm okay with that. I have no hate for that. Check out TixR.com. Grab your Sparta tickets for upcoming events. Yeah, ABM April 29th, ABM 14. Woohoo! Viking of God That's, will be on that card. That guy's just a special talent. Dude, just a monster. Nice guy, too. Yeah. Don't know if I'd ever want to come within a block of a ring of a cage <laughs> of him. Out of the blue corner, Orlando Salgado. Well, I know those trainers. Quick shot of Jeff Cisneros, Sparta CEO there. Gentleman's had a busy couple of weeks. Absolutely. All right, our tail of the tape, Mr. V Hill, the younger, 23 years old. They come in even at 5'10. And Mr. V Hill's record, my goodness, 10 and 0. Yeah. Missed himself as Mexican style. Salgado is the elder at 28 years old, and he has an experience disadvantage, shall we say, at a two and one record. Yeah, um, and you know, we don't you don't know what that 10 and 0 is, right? Right. I mean, and I don't know what Mexican style is, and I'm a Mexican, so <laughs> there you go. Which you know what I mean? It, I take the line from Rocky. Well, I can't fight a bet he can cook. <laughs> Boys in shape, though, let me tell you that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a professional boxing bout scheduled for four three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the King of Beers, Budweiser Red Corner. He holds a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. Weighed in at 154. 50.4 pounds with pound for pound out of Denver, Colorado, Jaden Big Drip V Hill. Did you say Big Trip? That's what I thought I heard. Fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Volkswagen Blue Corner. He holds a professional record of two wins, one loss. Standing five foot, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 150 pounds. With House of Pain, out of Grand Junction, Colorado, Orlando El Barro Salgado. Well, these guys are jacked up. Let's have a good clean fight, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Questions out of the red corner, questions out of the blue corner. Touch them up, gentlemen, let's fight. Yeah, you talked about both these guys looking like they're in shape. I think we're going to see a fast-paced, hard-hitting bout here. Salgado maybe a, a two-in-one record. He's a specimen. Let's see what that 10-0 is. D. Hill with the red tape. Salgado with the blue. Salgado with... Big right, missed, came back with an uppercut. Throwing with power, Salgado. He's leaving his chin up a little bit when he goes in with those powerful strikes. Got to be cautious of that. Yeah, he's lunging a little bit. Yeah, trying to trying to pull his head back out of range while he's trying to put his hands forward into range. Like swiping left hook, didn't find anything. 
Knee heel again, there you see him digging to the body in a combination. Very wide stance by V Hill. That lowers him up a little bit too. Leverage. Got a nice combination yeah. coming back. Not relying on single strikes either of these guys. Salgado with a nice left. Salgado. Not quite as clean as V Hill, right? But man, when he throws the intent behind it, is so obvious. Serves him well. I think he's being warned for shoving his opponent. Okay. Gentlemen, ready? See that guy's ducking and come up with the big power with yeah. the left. But he's wild. That's for sure. B heel's got to be more classic. Those straight punches. Ooh, saw Salgado one there, with yeah. a nice right hand. I was just about to criticize him for not throwing straight punches, and then his hook lands yep. nicely. Yep. And that stung him too. Oh, Ooh. crushing overhand right. B heel works his way back from it. Yeah, so good job. Him nice. Yeah, he did. Oh, nice strike there as well. Guys mixing it up nicely. Stop. Good back and forth yeah, action here. Push it down on the Late. back of his head. Can't do that. Late in round one. 45 seconds to go. Oh, that's surgical right there. Nice short shots. And then he evades nicely. Does V Hill. Ooh, a couple body oh, shots. Just and then, winding yeah. up. Both these fighters putting it on. Nice shot. Salgado scoring, uh, again, a little wilder. B Hill comes in now. B Hill, multiple punches. And B Hill doing a nice job of not letting himself get drawn into being just a, an untechnical brawl. Yeah, and I'll tell you, he's trying B Hill's to taking some shots yeah. right there. Took another one. B Hill trying to maintain his technical style despite the fact that Salgado's really pushing him with a more brawling type in intent. Uh, that's a great descriptive adjective. Brawling yeah. type intent. <laughs> now, Grand Junction, Colorado, Denver, Colorado, elevation should be a problem. Agreed. Not, not the cleanest of exchanges. I mean, things you can clean up for sure. Not gonna clean them up tonight. But both these guys making a nice accounting for themselves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like they're you, throwing. Yeah, like you said, some things that could be cleaned up, but a lot of good stuff happening in there as well. Power shots, that's a nice little power shot, like a dig into the body. We're over by the corner of Salgado, and what I will say is a young man is breathing hard in between rounds. Yeah. See uh, if he's able to keep up that power attack. Second round, B Hill again comes into this one 10 and 0. Salgado, man, he's just going. You know, those big misses take a lot out of you. Yeah, JR. they sure do. But man, the intent that Salgado throws with. Definitely violent intent. Which it should be. That's why we're here. You're in a fight. <laughs> Combinations there by V Hill and going upstairs and that jab's landed. More, more of the polished boxer. Yeah, the technical precision of E Hill showing off that ex experience advantage. I mean, you're, you're looking at Salgado. I mean, he's Ooh. throwing some bombs and missing. Forearm came across by Salgado accidentally, but it was actually pretty hard. Got to be careful ducking your head like that because you get caught with an uppercut, you're yes. done. That's a big shot. And a couple times in that barrage, V Hill looking for that uppercut, Todd. Ooh. Oh, oh, crushing Again shot. Again with the right hand. I got to tell you, V Hill's got a chin on him. 
He does, but make no mistake about it, he was hurt there. His ropes helped him keep his uh, keep himself upright, no what? doubt. And I'll tell you what, you look at Salgado, he's telegraphing some of his shots. And this is where the technical part comes in. How many times is he scoring there? Yeah, I think he's gonna run out of gas, JR. Maybe not. Yeah, it's a tough style to keep pressuring for four rounds, throwing everything with that much power. Hill again shows off the technical precision that he brings. Yep. There's three punches, four punches, there's five, six, seven, eight. And then the wild return. That's the difference between straight punches right there. Hill getting his head snapped around repeatedly yep. now. Yep. Man, these guys are going. Boom. About a 64-punch combination yeah. by Salgado, or excuse me, Vio. Yeah, Salgado has, has missed badly on some big power shots. And right now, he's having a hard time defending himself. And those counters able to be seen by V Hill now. Salgado yep. winding up blatantly with them. Yeah, V Hill's so clean. easy for V Hill to read. Yeah, V Hill's clean right now. 10-second clacker going to sound. I'm watching Drew Dober. Drew Dober's over here. Wow. <laughs> He's liking it. Well, for those of you wondering maybe, hey, why didn't uh, Salgado be on the receiving end of a standing eight count there? They talked to the fighters about that in the dressing room and said, you guys are professional boxers. We will let you take a professional beating. Yes. Obviously, we're there for your safety. Yep. But you're a pro level, so. Yeah, this is not, you know, in... in the difference between last fight and this fight. Yes. A lot of difference in it. And it, you've got two guys that are both engaging. And you can really see the technical part of, of why Jade Beal's 10 and 0. Beal with just that prolonged attack mid to later oh round there. 30 punch, like, I don't know what you said it was. It's a 64 punch yeah, combination. Yeah, <laughs> it was at least 36. We like to embellish a little <laughs> bit, but I'll give you 36 at least. <laughs> what are we in, was this round three? Yes, sir. Three of four. Salgado, absolutely. Zero change in his game plan. Yeah, Salgado's but cast. The, that was that was completely fatigued. Yep. He missed his shot, didn't have the energy to recover. No, and he's not going to, and I talked about that last fight, that last round, that he's going to have a hard time finishing this fight. V Hill looking to finish it out here. Knows he has his opponent Boom. on the proverbial ropes. Now, Those are quick, now good the literal punches. ropes. Well, Salgado's tough, though, man. He just, just when you think he's out of it, he throws a counter to show the referee, hey, I'm still here. A lot of stuff you could clean up. I'll tell you what, right now, if I'm B. Hill, I'm loading up on uppercuts. <laughs> boom, boom. Big shot. Boy, right when you think he's out of it, Salgado comes back with a shot. Took a hard shot there, got oh, yeah. staggered in his footwork. Back against the ropes again and just going to work is V Hill. Like v he's Hill's, working the heavy bag now. V Hill's thrown, what, 200, 300 punches? Man. Oh. Oh. Salgado in a world of hurt here. Not able to get off no. with any accuracy. He's missing badly now. Yeah, and like you said, that is so draining. Yeah, he's got nothing left. He can't has I don't know to if he be, can defend himself, JR. Yeah, V Hill has to be thinking, what do I got to do to finish this guy? And every now and then he comes back with the strike. Just enough to keep himself in it, I'd say. Referee's got to be close to st stepping in on this one. Boy, oh, winds up big time for the hook to the body. That's, That's it. the end. Referee's going to wave it off. Just not able to intelligently defend himself. No. There, just on the receiving end of such a prolonged barrage. And 
maintaining his undefeated record. Congratulations, Mr. V Hill. 11 and 0. And saying, I want a belt. You know, Salgado's got to go back to the drawing board and just learn how to conserve energy. Yes. And, and JR, you've been around the sport a long time. When you're missing big like that, it takes so much gas out of your tank. It's just ridiculous how much it drains you. And we saw, the, saw that uh, by the fact that he threw one where he missed and he literally fell down because of it. Yeah. Just did not have the energy to recover. But the, the smart preciseness, feel, weathered the shots, the big shots that came his way. And then it just peppered quick, some of them short eight inch punches. Salgado continuously doing just enough to keep himself in the bout. So many times I was ready to say, oh, that's it. Then Salgado would wind up with a big counter yeah. shot and let the referee know, hey, I'm still willing to engage in combat. Well, once this decision is read, we're gonna have the finals, the King of Sparta. There you see the last, I mean, the number of punches Thrown without it really, you know, he got one back, maybe one every 20, and then it got yeah. to the point where you had to do something. Chris Camozzi and Ian, and Ian Heinish over chat yep. with Drew Dober. The fellas are out tonight. Uh, Ladies who? and gentlemen. Camozzi's he's a big boy, isn't he? Oh, goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tim Mills called a stop to this bout. Two minutes, 10 seconds into the third round. Declaring your winner by TKO, Jaden Big Drip V Hill. I'm still wanting to know what the nickname is. Congratulations, Jaden B. Hill, going home with the victory. Let's go! Are y'all not entertained? Yo, big shout out right now to Mr. V Hill. V Hill, your opponent was a worthy one. He came out with a lot of big punches, was trying to hit you with the lunch box, the Mack truck. He came and was trying to knock you out. You know what I'm saying? It was swinging like Babe Ruth, like he was aiming for home runs. Were you ever hurt during that fight? You know, big shout out to, to my opponent. Came in tough. But uh, first off, I want to thank God, because without him, nothing would be possible. And I want to thank my family and friends, everybody that sh showed up. Love you guys. And uh, he was a tough opponent, but you know what? My team, my team had my back. They gave me some great advice in the corner and came out with the W. Nice. And at any time, with you being an undefeated fighter, him being two and one, at any moment, did you feel the pressure of that as he was landing some of those big bombs that had you staggered at some point? But with you having all of the the, the wits to 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 withstand what he was putting forth, that sweet science was able to pay off in the end. Yes, it was, and uh, I want to thank my coach again, because he gave me, gave me great advice in the corner, told me to stick and move, not to stay in front of him, because he's throwing those wild shots, but once I started moving, using my boxing skills, uh, he wasn't able to touch me. Man, and that's facts, and he was able to withstand and look good. Hey, one more time, that was one hell of a fight. Let's give it up for Big Trip. V Hill! Let's go!